Hello. Currently, I'm coming to you from my bed. I just thought that this was the most practical place to film. I'm slightly uncomfortable on the ground, but the lighting is the best, I guess. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm really excited for today's video because I have been seeing these necklaces all over TikTok. I'm pretty sure, 100% positive, Victoria Paris started the trend of these Martha Calvo necklaces. They're really pretty and I really like them, but the problem is they're 120 plus dollars. Personally, I don't want to spend money on a necklace like that. Only because the necklace is gold plated, meaning that it'll probably get worn out in the shower and whatnot. And I like to wear my necklaces all the time. I went to Joanne Fabrics and also Michael's, but Michael's low key sucked. And I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm just so excited to do this. I have been waiting all weekend. I did not feel good this weekend, so I wasn't gonna film, but I feel good now. So I'm gonna film and make these necklaces. So I've got all these really cute little jewels and things, all these. I went to Joanne Fabrics and Michaels looking for this stuff. If we're gonna be honest, Michaels sucks. I thought Michaels would have so many things, but they just didn't. The only thing they had that I really wanted was this like little evil eye necklace thing. I think that might be cultural appropriation if you're not using it for the right reasons. I know it's like bad luck to give it to yourself, like you're supposed to gift it to someone. That's the whole thing with like the evil eye is if someone gives it to you. And they were like huge and like not well made. I figured if I wanted it, I would buy it from like an actual person who believes in it or something. I don't know. That's besides the point. I just didn't buy that. I did buy a little cross though because I am religious so this is not appropriating anything. I need a reference photo. Let me pull up my laptop right now. Too. Oh I thought it was $120. This is a $175 necklace. So that's a little steep for me personally. I like this it's all good necklace. That's kind of what I'm going for I think. I also like this happy go lucky necklace. I'm definitely going to recreate that. I think that's like the most popular necklace to recreate. I'm going to start off by making the happy go lucky necklace. I just think that that's the most popular one. One, so I should just make that one first. That would only make sense. I have done jewelry before. I like to think I'm a pretty creative person, so I've done some pretty creative tasks in my life. Should I take off my necklaces and use them as a reference? I think that would only make sense, right? So this is probably the length I'm looking for. So let's see. I don't want to cut anything too soon, so I'm thinking like that. I wish I had a better way of filming this. I just don't have like a professional camera setup, so I can't really like show you above, but this is the best we're gonna get for today I think. This is what we're gonna do. A little bit of that. I'm already getting stressed out. I feel it happening. Do I take one of these and then start with the pearls and put the pearls on this? This is gonna be hard with my nails. Also I did these myself. Thank you. For this, I should take like this much, right? I'm gonna take a little extra because I need some to tie. Let me just go ahead and cut this already because it's just string. Okay, so we have the string, these. I'm gonna attach it to the string. Okay, so I tied it like that. You cannot see it very well. I feel like I'm gonna have to get scissors because I don't know how good these things are gonna be for cutting the string. This is not a tutorial. This is literally how I'm doing this all. Um, who knows if it's right? Okay, I think I ended up figuring it out. I had to do four reverse knots. And now what I'm gonna do is when I string the pearls on, I'm gonna like take this front part of it and like loop it like that just so I don't cut the string too short. So let's put the pearls on. I have one right here. I don't like using these pliers that much. Okay, I'm not so discouraged anymore now that I figured that out. This is exciting. I'm excited now, now that I figured that out. Should I like slowly make the beads bigger? I feel like I should slowly make the beads bigger. So I finished the pearl part. That was really easy once I figured out how to do that. I feel like once you put it on, it won't be noticeable at all. But like when it's straight, you can kind of tell that each one's like a different kind of shape. But if you put them together, it looks like it's more cohesive. That's the word I was looking for. I wanted to use these skulls together. This definitely, I'm gonna take these apart and use a couple of different ones of these. Okay, so I got this box. I'm just gonna put all the beads in here. I think that's gonna be the easiest thing I can do. I don't have anything to organize them with and I'll just pull them out and dig through it if I want to find a specific bead. There we go. 
So there's the first beads. I'm just gonna do it one at a time. I'm gonna add some of the beads. So I put a little purple one on there. It's really small. I'm wondering if I should put a skull, one of these little skulls. Would that be cute? Putting these in my box for safekeeping. I wanna make mine a little more like badass. Just like some cooler beads, you know. So now there's some gold ones and a pearl. I'm gonna be using these little pearls. This little gold one. These are really cute. I really like these. So these ones are kind of on some wires. I don't think I'm gonna use the wires though. I'm just gonna take them off of it. Does that look okay? Okay. And then there are some chains. I also got this smaller chain. Okay. Okay, I can't even see it that well. Okay, so this is what I have. There we go. The Yodi. That's so cute. Okay. Now we can put the beads on. Ta-da! I'm still afraid to cut the last, like, Fisher, what is it called? This wire thing? Look at this. I did it. How cute is that? I'll take my necklace off and show you what it looks like on. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't go with my outfit, obviously. If I was wearing something like a little more eccentric, I think it would look better. I'm really proud of this. Like this is so easy to make. It's so cute. And it's like more personalized because I could do like my own little charms. That is so cool. That is so cool. I can't believe how easy that was. I'm gonna go ahead and make more and I'm gonna let my camera charge a little bit and then I'll come back to you guys when I finish making more of them. Finally finished. It is currently 8.30, so I've been doing this for like eight hours. This was really fun though. I'm saving all of my necklace stuff in here because I'm definitely gonna do this again. My favorite necklace that I made is the one I'm wearing now. It is the prettiest in my opinion. I made four necklaces. So we have this one. I think this one's the most interesting to look at and I'll probably wear it like with more fancier stuff. This one, which is a mix of like the one I'm wearing now and this one, it's got like pearls and a gold chain. And then I also made like a really simple one with pearls and beads and a cross right here. Then the one I'm wearing, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It says bug on it because my name in Slovak means ladybug. So that's what that is. I really like it. It's it's so cute and like simple. I love the gold on it. And this bead right here, this like purple one is my favorite bead out of all the beads that I had. Oh, and my bracelet, I put my dog's name on it. I thought that'd be really cute. And it's a little gold bracelet. It's like a wrap around one. So it's a big bracelet that I can wrap around twice. And it's got the same little purple charm bead that I just said that I really liked. This went by so fast because I actually had fun doing all of this. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know know if you make your own bracelet. They're so easy. Like I, I didn't even use instructions for these. I literally just came up with it on my own off the top of my head. Make sure to subscribe because I do want to post more videos like this. If you have any other like creative ideas, then definitely let me know down in the comments below and I'll look into them. I love you guys so much. Peace out Girl Scouts and I will catch you on the flip side in my next video. All right, bye. Oh, this is
I'm sitting down. I should have gotten up to do this. Okay, bye, bye.